Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. Monday, when our stable man is at work. He's at work, which means we are the stable people. Sophie, do you like being a stable girl? No, especially with a cut toe. I love it in the summer. And so Sophie's over here with a cut no. toe. Sophie stubbed her toe, you guys, and she's bandaging that baby up. Gabby has had her coffee, and we're headed down to the barn with our eager beaver friends who are ready to roll every day. Same story. She's peeing. You're peeing. And she just woke up. <laughs> she sleeps early in the morning, you guys. She, like, stays awake all night and then wakes up in the morning. Why do you have no sock? It is cold today. All right, it is... Minus five. Minus five in the barn. Today, Penny Pickle, you are going to get the full treatment. You are. Full full treatment. She is going to get the full treatment of getting her hair brushed, getting her feet done. I really want to ride Penny today. I really wanted to ride Penny all weekend. I really wanted to ride you. It is glorious Can out there. Can you that shaving out of her forehead? Yeah, I'm going to pick that shaving out of her forehead. If all our horses Oh, you are such a good penny pickle. There's some more. I know. She's like, give me more. There's more. A little tiny bit more, I think. There you go. That's it. She's like, give me more, I really like it. I really like it. That's your treat. That's her treat for the day. I am really excited to get back at it with our ponies. Today I told Gabby, let's like stay home all day. The days that we stay home are the easier days, are the more relaxing days. We were at the barn all day yesterday. Let's just stay home today, because today's our regular riding day. And she said, no, let's go to the barn. So yeah, I'm going to the barn. We're going to the barn. No, we can't. Why? Because my toe. <laughs> and I don't like feeling a bandage. Yeah, Sophie's got a bad and toe. I need sock straw. You should All right. feed your mare. I'm going to feed her, but first I'm going to give her a little brush because Penny Pickle, you'd be looking scruffy. I hate a scruffy horse. Yeah. Such a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> I love that Penny loves her food. I love that she loves to lick her food and that she loves to take her time with her food. I love that she just loves her food. I love my food too, but you don't love me. <laughs> Sophie's like, why can't you love it that I love my food? Sophie, I love my food too. Lately, I've been loving my food. I love that Penny Pickle loves her food. I love it better when I don't really care about food. In Canada, in winter, it, there's nothing else to do but eat food. And in summer, you're so busy that you hardly eat food, which works out really well. All right, so Sophie's gonna collect all the frozen poo in the arena today. Come on, keep going. I give up. <laughs> the poop is not coming up. The poop is not coming up. We've been using this arena so much more than ever before. Look at how nice it stayed. This has been the best winter, the best winter we've ever had at this farm. Hey, Pen. Hey, Pen. Who's our cleanest horse out of all six of them? Storm. Yeah, Storm. Storm is really clean. And then, but Storm, all Gabby's horses are clean. Gabby, are you clean? Yeah. yeah, not Chino as much. Gabby's clean. Who are our messiest horses? Finn, Willow sometimes. Mostly, Willow's not too bad. Today she was messy because she pooped everywhere. Do you think Finn is messier than Penny? Yeah. No. I think Penny is messy. He poops against the wall, which is really hard to clean. Mm -hmm. that's, she and knows the, messier than Finn. And he she puts poop stains than... on the wall. So that's yeah, technically He's a messy. wall pooper. Can't stand those wall poopers. But Penny is a slob. Like, Penny is a slob. She's just a slob. She uh, loves to make messes. She loves to be dirty. That's her. Finn, I feel like, never wants to be dirty, though. Like he does not like. <laughs> Finn lays in his own pee and gets stained. Gabby says, "Yeah, but I mean, if you have no Go! choice, no, I'm stuck she here." <laughs> Anyways, um, you guys saw yesterday that Sam Falling. tries to empty the water in the morning so it doesn't freeze all day. 
So that's what we're doing. And also, we set our stalls up so that they have hay for the night so he doesn't have to do it. Otherwise he complains about it. He's like, you guys didn't put hay in. <laughs> so we try and make him happy because he's so good to us. How much do you guys think Molly weighs now? How much, how heavy is she, Gabby? How hard is she for you to hold? Very hard. <laughs> I would say, I think she's about 30 pounds. I think she's 35. 35 pounds? I think she's 40. How old is she now? Uh, almost a year. Oh, almost a year, she's uh, 11 like months. months. No, she's 11 months on the 12th. Is her birthday the 12th? Yeah. 11 months in next week. This week, this Isn't week. Year yeah. So she's almost a year old. 11 months this week. How do you feel the last year has gone with your puppy? Did it fly by and was she easy as pie? Yeah. My dog's not easy as pie. Your dog is pretty easy. What? Except for when she started jumping off my bed. Yeah, there are some things she's not good at. But then, then she quickly learned how to not do that. Yeah. If you guys are getting work holly, they need toys, just don't get them squeaky toys. Basically, this dog learned fast, so fast, so easy. There are a couple things she doesn't do. She doesn't like to lay in bed with Gabby all night. If Gabby falls asleep and we all leave her there and go to sleep, then she travels the house. Yeah, yeah. so now what we do is we just put her in her crate at night after Gabby goes to sleep. Each night when Sam goes to bed, he whistles, and all of a sudden you hear and she just yeah, flies down the stairs. To not whistle, to tell her to come when he whistles. Yeah. So now when he goes around whistling, Molly comes. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like, Anyway, it's true. Easiest puppy of life. So, so, so you know when your ankle needs to be cracked and just like you can feel it and you just twist your body and it cracks? Nope, never had that happen before in my life. Have you ever had that happen? What? You, your ankle needs to crack, so you twist your body and your ankle cracks? You twist your ankle? Yeah, also my hips, knees, elbows, mm -hmm. shoulders. Everything neck, on back. Daddy. You guys got your dad's jeans. Barn is clean, our job is done. Sophie, do you want to bring your ribbons up to the house? No room. Yeah, we could fit them on your... No room. All right, well, let's go. Our job is done for a couple Wait. days. Sam's off tomorrow, hopefully. Wait. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Hey! So you have to move out of the way of the door. Wait. 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 Okay, go. Good girl. Bye, ponies. We'll be back. We have work to do with you today. Have a good breakfast. Most days I try and fit every single thing in in one day. I'm like, come on, come on, we have to clean. Come on, come on, we have to do school. Come on, come on, we have to get to the barn. Come on, come on, we have to blah, 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 blah. So sometimes, I think it's better to just count your losses, do the things that you have to do. So the girls are gonna do the beginning of school. I'm just gonna do the dishes, get cleaned up a little, and then we're gonna do our course. We're gonna jump right into our course, that's school. Even though it's horse related, we're gonna watch the videos, and we're gonna try and work with our mares before we head to the barn today to be with the boys. Okay, so we are gonna take an anxiety test. Apparently Gabby took an anxiety test last night. And she tested 100%. She's 100% anxious and social anxiety. And it's true, she's always been shy ever since she was a newborn baby. She is shy, it's genetic. She gets it from her dad, her dad is quiet. And when we go into social situations, like I've always joked that the reason Sam married me is because I talk for him. Like exactly like Gabby. When we go places, Kaylee talks for Gabby. Does Kaylee talk for you? Yeah, she orders my food. She orders her food. Like yeah, Sam. Mom orders my food. <laughs> like Sam, I mean, he doesn't feel anxious. He just isn't an uh, extrovert. He's just quiet he's and he's shy. I could talk to people if I didn't have the anxiety. Another thing about being shy, they say it's a gene and they say that if you have crooked fingers, that you have the shy gene, which is probably just an old wives' tale. Yeah, but let's see, Gabby. Fingers. Show us the fingers. Do you have the crooked fingers? I don't. I do. Let's see. Put them down there. All right, do you guys see them? This way, no, turn it this way. So, if Oops. you can see, her fingers almost form a heart. See how crooked they are? Hey, Gabby, you got the crooked fingers, and your dad has the crooked fingers, too. Sophie and I have straight fingers. We are straight. I thought it was normal until you're like, oh my god, you have weird fingers. We should do this in a live video because this would be fun. 
and we could everybody could answer it with us. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do this quick uh, anxiety test. This one's better. We're, yeah, maybe we'll do one in a live video. Okay, so I've been unable to stay in one place, like sitting down for any length of time. Never, some of the time, much of the time, nearly all the time. Nearly all the time. I can't sit down for a long time. Uh, me too. I I can sit down all the time, except for when I get a random energy burst at night, and I really want to run around. But I've been very concerned about several things at one time. Mhm. Mm all all the time. You're concerned about things? Yes, all the time. Like what? I don't know. What are you concerned about? Are you concerned a lot? I'm not concerned a lot. Me neither. Some of the time. This is the social anxiety test, which has better answers. That's just an anxiety test. This is just a plain old anxiety test. Um, and I know that I say like I worry and stuff, but I mostly don't worry. Okay. I've been agitated, tense, or skittish. You've been what? Agitated, tense, or skittish. Agitated. Some of the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not very often. I've been unable to feel calm or relaxed. Yes. Sometimes. Because when I eat, I was answering for me. I'm answering for me, not for you. Yeah, answer for yourself. So I've Some been unable to feel calm or relaxed. I feel calm. Some of the time. And relaxed. Um, Until I think about something. I've but I'm good. I've struggled sure to control that. feelings of anxiety, agitation, or fear. I have struggled to control. Fear. Fear all the time. I have struggled. Oh, oh I time. never struggled to control. Every like, single I never struggled, Gino, struggle I fear to show it. Struggle to kind of control it sometimes. but You like, never struggled to show it. I never show it. it. Right. I felt bad tempered, tempered, irritable, or moody. All the time. Me? <laughs> me. Uh, some of the time for me. It's you Sorry. most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do feel like that's Okay, sometimes. last one. I've been afraid or panicky about bad things that might happen to myself forever. I do that. I do that all the time. I have mild anxiety, you guys. Mild. That's the second one. Minimal, mild, mild, moderate, or severe. I have minimal. But I think most people do. Okay, let's do that. At the end of them, they're all like, chat with the therapist. Yeah, you need a therapist. We're gonna go live, not right this minute, but we're gonna go live soon and we're gonna do an anxiety test with Gabby. It's gonna be, maybe we should do it on your channel, a video on your channel. No. All right, well, we'll go live soon and we'll do Gabby's anxiety test. To be honest, I feel like those kind of tests don't, aren't that super accurate because it doesn't take into account genetics, your personality style. There are introverts, there are extroverts, there are, there are, and everything in between. Like, I've always been an extrovert. Ooh. I'm an extrovert, so social situations are easy for me. Gabby is shy. Social situations are going to be harder for her. Sam is shy. Um, he doesn't even participate. Like, when we go places, you, we could get together with you and visit at your house for three hours and Sam I might still not, got the same score. And Sam might not say a single solitary word the whole time we're there and then we'll leave and he'll be like, oh, that was fun. Like, he's just not. Mom is all That's talking he, like, and dancing to the conversation. Time. Yeah, don't you like listening to the conversation? No, that's I, what just I just said. On my phone I was like, don't you just Yeah, like that's what Gabby does. Yeah, I, I, I got the same score, yeah. And then I'm Sophie's more like me where no. I just sit there awkwardly. She does. She just sit there awkwardly. But I feel like that's part of being a child too. I sit there, then I go eat. Like I didn't, food. when I was young, I didn't just go and burst into rooms and start talking. And my grandkids are the same. They're kind of quiet until they get to know you. But once you get to know us. Right, Sophie? Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm actually quiet too. I don't like just walk into situations and... Why am I so pale? Yeah, why are you so pale? Oh, no. And this arm's like Pam. And this arm's like What? You know it's cold out when the daisy dog goes missing. When the daisy dog and the Laura go missing. We're just getting ready to go to the barn and Daisy was missing. We like to put her in her crate before we go and we knew exactly where she'd be. She'd be right here sleeping on Sophie's bed because this is where the heat is. That tank puts out so much heat and makes it so See, warm in here for us. She can't survive downstairs. Yeah, yeah. It's like an ice bath downstairs. Well, actually, no. So I want to move Trixie the Bearded Dragon 
downstairs because I feel bad that it's so quiet up here and she doesn't get any attention except for like three times a day when we're up here doing stuff and it's she doesn't get the noise and stuff so I want to move her downstairs what if it made the downstairs warmer what if having all that set up downstairs made the downstairs warmer we freeze in the winter it's so cold and Daisy is the same she only likes to be warm so when and it's she loves to be clean and she loves to be clean she's a clean girl so messy girl. she runs and she sleeps in Sophie's bed, which is so funny. Who else did that? Cookie. Cookie. Yeah, Cookie did it too. And Cookie was spotted and Daisy spotted. Yeah. So I we, think for spotted animals. You have a type. You have a type. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're going to the barn. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's thinking about it. Come on. Come on! Come on! Down, Good girl, sit! <laughs> she thought she was getting a treat! Down! Down! Good girl! Do we have a treat? I used to, okay? Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Down! Down! No, I don't have it yet. Down! Down! Go! 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 Good girl. All right, it actually happened. Sophie climbed in my bed this morning and she said, you know, I'm getting my fidget toy today in the mail. I know I am because I dreamed it. I dreamed that we get all these packages. And then I got excited because I love packages. Who doesn't love a good package? So we're just getting ready to go to the barn. And like all the other days, Sophie went out to check the mail. And I looked out my window of the car and I saw, what did I see? <laughs> It finally arrived. I don't know if you guys were, I don't know if you could tell the intensity of Sophie's wish for that poppet, but it finally arrived. Let's see it. So, actually, I thought it would be different than this, but basically, Wait, can I see it? It looks like this. <laughs> People on TikTok play, just wait, just wait. People on TikTok play games with it. You push the button. You push the thing. It's a it's a fidget toy. You do it exactly like Gabby's doing Get it. Get it back. Just wait. Everybody has to have a try before before Sophie. Wait, this is the left side. Yeah, give it back. Uh oh, she's coming for it. She's coming for it. It is minus seven degrees today. We are headed to the barn. I have no idea what we're gonna do there, but you guys should know that. Okay, so for anybody who's just tuning in that hasn't been following us for the last four or five months, our channel is based on us in our riding journey and our lessons for the most part. And a lot of you guys probably saw Brandon as our coach, but we actually have another coach, Fiona. She is more of our original coach. She's been away on maternity leave and she's coming back. So that leads us to where do we stand today? Today we stand with no trainers because COVID took them all away. But our government is putting out an announcement today and he and basically we are getting we're getting out of lockdown out of lockdown uh over the course of slowly we're being released from lockdown slowly over the course of three weeks and he's just going to slowly start to reinstate things the last thing that left just before christmas was lessons and so i am hoping that the first thing they reinstate our lesson so that's my plan that's my dream i'm putting it out there in the universe that is a noisy thing that is annoying anyways let's go to the barn this could be one of our few last this could be our last ride before lessons are reinstated pray you guys pray for us you know it's cold when i bring up the warm gloves sophie Did bought me these water? yeah sophie bought me <laughs> these for christmas it can't get any better. Sophie says today cannot get any better. It might not be able to get any better, but man, it could get warmer. My pop is so good. So today is going to be a fast ride. Do you understand that? No. I heard horses screaming out there. Squealing. Squealing. Makes me a little nervous, to be honest. Wait, I am not nervous. I am not a nervous person. Well, there's no horses here. There are no horses here. <laughs> So somebody was squealing. We're gonna find out who it was. All right, that is a herd of horses. That is a herd of horses. How many of them, how many are there? Oh, storm's on the move. Gabby, turn off, turn off your body. Turn it off. Walk kindly, Gabby. Don't chase them. 
Oh, she caught him. After my ride yesterday, he's probably like, phew, it's just Gabby. Counting the horses. Counting all these horses that are here. Nine, 10, I to go the 11. I think there's 17 in this field that I see. There's probably like, probably just under 25 horses in this, in this, at this farm. That's a lot of horses. That's an amazing amount of horses. This is such a beautiful herd of horses. So I was talking to our trainer about how Gabby struggles to ride Chino in the small arena. And I know, everybody yeah, everybody does. He's, he drives Chino, struggle. yeah, but he what? Okay, so he you're standing normally on the horse and Chino goes like this and pulls oh. you. Chino pulls, pulls you. Pulls okay. You Holy pulls heck, you. you just pulled me into poor skin. Okay, so. Um, I told Finn that you're not riding him and he, he put on the hat to face. Were you happy that I'm not riding you? Actually, I felt like he really enjoyed my ride. Oh, okay, so basically what I was saying is that Fiona said that Gabby needs to do like a bunch of circles and she'll be working on it with her when she gets back. Brennan kind of touched on it with her, but it was hard for Gabby to figure out what to do. Fiona, our coach Fiona, is more likely to stop a lesson and take the time. With Brandon, we had group lessons, and so it was harder because you can't just stop like a big group. Although he did really well because he would seg separate everybody into their own little lesson anyway. But anyways, Mom, we'll be incorporating that soon. It's kind of a heart. Yeah, that is a heart. A lot of heart. Finny always has hearts on him. Wait, it looked more like a heart from, I don't know. It definitely was a heart from far away. It's a heart, see? Mm -hmm. I know, I see it. I see it. Problem with hearts is that God only sends me hearts when I'm about to blow up. <laughs> and he's like, stop it, calm down, just love, just love. And so the girls are still packing up and I'm over here on Instagram because that's what any self-respecting mom does. Oh, one of those please. Uh, just wait. And I am checking out this girl day by day dot by dot day dot edits. Ari has a video of Chino and Gabby cantering in the snow. And what I love the most about shooting that video and watching them is that, and the reason I think Chino is so lovely is because Chino doesn't gallop ever. All he does is extend his canter and it looks beautiful. Like if you watch him, you can just see the moment that he moves out moves out further. I just think he's such a lovely horse. Yeah. All right, we are home, and something crazy happened. So be tell them I what. Got a chair. Tell them Isn't your dream. Um, um, that um, a bunch of packages came. There was one little one, and like five big ones. Really? Look, well, maybe three. I don't know, but I got pop it. Okay, so this morning Sophie climbed in my bed and she was like, Mom, I dreamed that then, there are little packages and big packages and there's a whole bunch of packages and they all came today. Wait till I show you this. So this that arrived today, you guys. Look at that. That one's white. So why does this have... That hurts. I don't need to work out at the gym. I can do the squat to pick it up. No, I'm on top of mine. <laughs> Can we open it? Every once in a while, Sam goes on some kind of shopping spree and buys us stuff, like for Valentine's Day. This is our Valentine's Day gift from Sam. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 